When oxygen levels drop at night, what happens to your brain? Good question, glad I asked it. Relevant, sleep apnea and snoring, or someone's trying to you know, do you out with a pillow. But here's the five kind of steps that happen. So this will happen in just 10 seconds, by the way. So number one is that less oxygen will go to the brain, duh. Uh, less duh is that then the blood flow will decrease in other areas, and then neurons will switch into this low power mode. Sounds good, except that then this will lead to more inflammation and releasing things like glutamate, which will then cause damage to these neurons. So that's when you look at the research here, as they've shown right here, I'm just making sure you're still awake, but when they do brain scans, you will see pretty much the brain dying off in important areas. So three things, talk to your doctor why that's happening. Number two, sleeping on your side, elevating the head of the bed is gonna be helpful. Number three, getting a step-by-step -step breathing protocol to support healthier breathing at night. Go ahead and click here to go grab it or go to the link over my face.